Right. White? Well, why would we be white? Sorry, there may be something massive. We can't say that. Uh, we're on the record here. All right, good morning once again. Uh, welcome everyone to Hardin County Commissioner's Court. We're here today for a special meeting. We have two items uh, that we're going to conduct a public hearing on. All members of the court are present, and this meeting is called to order. Please rise for the invitation, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, and thank you for all the men and women that work for Hardin County. Thank you for the opportunity to serve the citizens of Hardin County and guide us to always make the best decisions for all of the employees and the citizens of Hardin County, always. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, sir. Item three, conduct public hearing to receive citizen comments to consider abandonment of an undeveloped, undeveloped road named Woodbine Drive in the Pinewood 3 subdivision located in Precinct 3, as requested by Hardin County Water Control and Improvement District Number 1. Mr. Young, would you like to speak to that? Uh, yes, sir. Hardin County WCID number one is uh, the owner of all of the adjacent properties on this undeveloped road and they would like for us to abandon it so they can gate it for WCID purposes. All right, thank you very much. Mr. Maddox is here. Do you have anything you want to say, Mr. Maddox? No, not unless you guys have some questions. I don't. Does any member of the court have any questions? All right, at this time, we'll open the floor to any citizen comment or question regarding this item. Does anyone wish to speak? Anything further on that, Commissioner? No, sir. Any comments or questions by the court? Let's move on to item number four. Item number four is conduct public hearing to receive citizen comments on a request by RTC Homes and Whiteley Oliver Engineering Firm for a variance to allow Madison Park Phase 2 located on Keith Road to develop 21 lots without detention or retention as required in the Hardin County Subdivision Rules and Regulations. I want to make a statement regarding this item. On February 8, 2022, Commissioner's Court voted <coughs> to amend the rules, regulations, and requirements relating to the approval and acceptance of improvements in the subdivision or revised subdivisions by replacing the current Section F drainage plan requirements with new requirements before the court on that date. In doing so, the section of the drainage requirements with respect to detention was unintentionally omitted. Therefore, there is no need for the developer to seek a variance under the county's current drainage plan requirements. Our floodplain administrator is in the process of working with uh, Commissioner Young and the other county commissioners on another revision to add this provision back into our regulations and the court is expected to take action to correct this within the next one to two weeks. With that being said, Commissioner Young, do you have anything you'd like to add to that? Uh, we have talked to the developer. This is um, a phase two to an existing subdivision that the county has not accepted yet. Um, the um, existing detention pond is, they're going to modify that to accommodate this 21 lots. Um, I think what one good point is that in another six months or so, we would have accepted Madison Park as a subdivision into the county, and they would be exempt from any of the platting requirements anyways, uh, because it would be on county roads. They are splitting up some land into 21 lots, um, but they have agreed to provide for the runoff in the existing detention pond. And, uh if you don't mind, I would just like to add that the request was to uh, improve some uh, ditches and drainage that's already there going to Pine Island Bio, and the only landowner that was going to affect was going to be the Big Thicket National Preserve and PICA, uh, which is a, a land investment company. Correct. And PICA had no issue with that and, and planned to be here today to speak to that until we learned this, I think, last Thursday that this submission had been made. and. Uh, there's no need for her to come here and speak today. Correct. Okay. And this does not go into any other creek. It goes straight to Pine Island Bayou. Uh, there's no one in between Madison Park and Pine Island to affect. So um, it's not a cause for concern. I'm glad that we did catch the, the mistake and, and are correcting it. Um, but this particular subdivision is not going to be a concern. Uh, any comments or questions by the members of the court? So the variance is not needed because we omitted putting it in the policy. Yeah, whenever we revise.
revise that section F back in February, we accidentally took out the retention language. So if it was in there, they would need to, to build it? If it was in there, they would either need to modify the existing pond, which they've agreed to do anyway, or they would need to, we would have to look at this variance and find out uh, what landowners it would affect, which as I said, uh, Commissioner Young has been working with our engineer and their engineer and determined that the Big Picket National Preserve and Pica would be the only two landowners that would be affected by a variance. And this wouldn't impact us down the road legally? If, if we had another builder and they had to do it prior to, just because we omitted it? That, that property is too low to build on between Madison Park and the bow, and uh, Mr. Minnick has reviewed all of this. Is that correct? That's correct. On this particular phase, phase two, all of the uh, 21 uh, lots are highway or road frontage? Yes. Uh, what part of them front Keith Road, and then part of them front this other road that goes into Madison Park. So phase one, all roads aren't? Road it's still under warranty period. Um, so it's Baldwin Court is the main road going into Madison Park and it comes off of Keith Road. There was 18 acres between the original Phase 1 and Keith Road. This new developer came in. It's a different developer. They came in and bought the 18 acres between Madison 1 and Keith Road, and they wanted to name it Madison 2. They're going to take over um, the warranty period for that road and for the detention pond, and they've agreed to modify the detention pond. They're going to dig it four feet and then raise the levee by a foot. So they're adding another five feet, I'm not sure what the acre feet is, um, but another five feet to the detention pond to cover their 21 lots. And this is in writing? It's on a plat. They've already submitted a plat. And it's on there. Mm -hmm. And has, has that been reviewed already by LJA? I believe it's with them right now. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Any other comments or concerns or questions by the court? If not, I'll open the floor to uh, any citizen comments regarding this uh, fish line item. Any comments at all? Commissioner, anything further? Not at this time. All right. Any other member of the court? All right. If not, we'll move on to item five. Move to adjourn. Second. Got motion by Commissioner Cooper, seconded by Commissioner Roberts to adjourn. We'll be back in session at 10 a.m. for our regular meeting. All are stopped.